Hi, today I want to talk about carpal tunnel, tendonitis, elbow tendonitis. I'm going to lump all those together because I want to kind of talk a little bit about what those are, why they happen, and kind of what actually best treatment is. So my name is Dr. Brad Condor. I'm the owner of Onsite Focus Physical Therapy. Um, my email is brad at onsitefocuspt.com. And today I want to talk about some misconceptions or just some general knowledge on some of these tendonitis or overuse syndromes that you see kind of with your employees that might have, your employees might have. One thing as far as the misconception is carpal tunnel. A lot of times people will come to me it's like they have, I have carpal tunnel. I was like, well, what are you, what are you experiencing? Like, well, I have pain in my wrist, I have pain in my thumb, or I have this symptom, this symptom. And to be honest, carpal tunnel is very easy to kind of know if you actually have actual carpal tunnel. Because technically, carpal tunnel is only going to give you numbness and tingling right here in these fingers, and that's it. It's not going to give you uh, pain up your arm. It's not going to give you pain in the back of your hand. It's not going to give you numbness tingling in the back of your hand. So a lot of times there's a misconception if you actually have carpal tunnel. Now, it doesn't mean the employee or someone's not having a lot of issues as far as how they're using your wrist and hand, how they're working with it, and, and how it's overuse syndrome. But a lot of times people kind of get a little scared when they hear carpal tunnel because they think it's, they're going to need surgery and they're going to have other issues. Oftentimes, all we have to do is just kind of see if the employee, how they're using their hands, um, if they're using them correctly. If they need any kind of supports, like wrist supports, also if they're stretching correctly and how we kind of institute a warm-up program and proper micro-stretching throughout the day. Self-care as far as massage and icing of the wrist and hand. Um, I'm a physical therapist. I use my hands a lot to work on people, so I know how it feels. And just simple kind of strategies throughout the day can kind of keep a lot of these things at bay. And a lot of times, you may not actually have carpal tunnel, but if you have wrist and hand pain, you know, simple uh, early kind of interventions can really kind of uh, keep away uh, getting into that space as far as actual carpal tunnel because we don't want to get to the point where we might need surgery, right? Now the reason why I lump it into also like maybe tennis elbow and like shoulder tendonitis because a lot of times it's the same issues as far as people are worried about like a rotator cuff tear or a tennis elbow um, and those things don't re necessarily require surgery. Uh, they're usually an overuse syndrome and postural issue. So one of the first things we need to educate to educate employees with is like what that is why it's happening and kind of how to kind of improve your posture and do your stretching correctly. And also how to make sure to take care of it early so it doesn't develop into something that needs surgery. Because oftentimes we can kind of tell that right off the bat whether they need something more serious than conservative care. So hopefully these tips kind of give you some good information. There's a lot more to learn. If you want to learn more, uh, give me an email at uh, brad at onsitefocuspt.com or give me a call at 502-509-3136. If you're having any kind of problems on site, you want to kind of talk about some of the all the solutions that we have to kind of help meet your needs at your company, keep your employees happy, keep your management happy, keep you happy. We'd be more happy to help. So look forward to hearing from you and be safe.